going to introduce you to the Department. Hi, Carrie. Good morning. Good morning. We spoke a little bit before, Andrew. You sent an email and kind of let us know a bit of what you were looking for out of this particular speech, and it was a non-manual speech. And I think in talking to you this morning, it made sense kind of why you're sort of off the manual in a lot of ways. And it, it shows in that you've got a fantastic base as a speaker, in that you are confident, you project well, you've got great body language. It's just naturally, and you look you look very natural up here. And so you've got this you've got this amazing base that you're starting off with, and what you were looking to work on is a little bit more of a storytelling aspects and like how to kind of capture the audience in some way, in an engaging way. And so this story, I really like the topic too that you kind of set up and, and it builds immediately with intrigue because we sort of know there's some type of mishap or disaster that's going to come out of this. So we're all sitting and waiting. So you've got this suspense that you build early on. And I think, I think uh, as, as we saw, one of the other goals you had was timing. And if there was one thing that was the, like the clear thing is just the pacing and the timing. So one question I have for you is, how, how many times have you told this story? A lot. <laughs> right. It's one of my favorite stories. Right. Mm -hmm. And how often is it in a four to six minute format? Not very often. <laughs> <laughs> right. And so I, I, I'm guessing that that story, like you, that you trimmed it down in the ways you told it, in probably the more just sort of uh, casual speaking conversation things, it ends up being maybe a, a two to three minute story. So it's definitely, it's, it's possible to package it into the four to six minute format. So I think the things to look at would be what were the superfluous things that you could trim out and cut out. You had some facts and things about the trip that were sort of supportive of, of your, your adventure there, but not, not core to the story. So and those, those would be easy to trim and you'd be able to fit this thing down into four to six minutes. Uh, so I, I think the other thing to look, look at from my first, what I was thinking about is, is what sort of tone you're setting. Is it one of suspense in kind of a, a frightening way, or is it more of sort of a comedic sort of mishap kind of way? And my sense is that it's a little bit more of a lighthearted kind of comedic thing, but it was definitely a, also there was an underlying sense of danger too. And I think once you clearly pick one of those things, then you can exaggerate your story. It's okay, and I think we all do it. And you can kind of add some things that are funny. So if it's more comical, let's hear about the Italian guys and maybe in some ways in which they were sort of ridiculous. Other ways in which you can kind of just sort of take the story a little bit more farcical, whatever it may be. And I think that, that'll help. And everyone sort of understands that there's leeway there, so there's creative leeway to do that. And I think that would have been a way to just sort of enhance what you've got and then just kind of keep it in that four to six minute format. But overall, again, you've, I'm really impressed all the time when you speak at how clean and concise your, most of your speech, speeches are and how crisp they are and that you use space really well too. It's, you're okay with pausing and it feels very, very natural. So again, with that really strong base, uh, you've got so much to work with. It's just maybe just narrowing down the time frame. Thank you. Thank you.